Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and iOS 11 Beta 1 has been out for about a week and I've been using it the entire time and many of you have asked me if you should upgrade. And the real quick answer to that is absolutely not. I wanted to do this follow-up video to kind of give you my experience what I've had with Beta 1 so far. And just so you know, Beta 1 through 3 usually is very unstable on any version of iOS we've had in the past as well. This is not unusual with early versions of new revisions to iOS. So iOS 2, 3, 4, or iPhone OS back then, all the way through today, were very unstable with beta 1 and 2, and usually really started to improve at 3 or 4. It's not to be thought of as it's it's going to be a bad OS. It's just basically the way it is. Apple usually gets all the features nailed down. They've got all the, uh, the icon changes like the App Store, the different features with Control Center, things like that. They've been working on getting those features in here. And then what they do is release it to developers so they can start taking advantages of those new features that are built in, different APIs or or basically ways for developers to talk to the operating system in different ways and use more features, those are installed basically in the OS and then they really tweak it to get it working properly. And with this version, I've had a lot of problems. Battery has been horrible for me and I charged it a couple times today, maybe two or three times today, so you won't actually get to see usage but you'll see it says I used maps 45% is what used most of my battery. And the crazy thing about that is it was plugged in most of the time. So there's going to be things that just don't make sense, errors throughout the OS. Uh, in fact, before I made this video, it crashed just switching to this wallpaper. So all I did was go into the photo, add it to my wallpaper as my lock screen and my home screen, and the, the screen actually basically rebooted. So I had the OS go to a black screen and then it rebooted. I'm not sure that it was just a typical reboot. I almost think it was a, a full reboot of the phone the way it actually acted. But either way, it is working now and it's working okay. That's the first time I've actually had it respring on me like that. Now I've had other issues. I've had search not work in, in the App Store. I've had the search not be available in YouTube, which seems to be common for most people. It sometimes is there and then other times it just goes away. Other problems have to do with frame rate lag. Sometimes when you're setting the different wallpapers or just the OS will kind of freeze and stutter. I don't know if it'll do it, but if I go into the wallpaper, go here. Oh, that's an old one. Maybe we'll go to the new iOS 11 one, set it. This is actually what crashed my phone to begin with. It worked okay there, but other times it will just not work altogether. So I'll set this one, set both. And now the wallpaper is set and that seems to be okay. So it worked that time, but there are other things throughout that I don't expect to work properly. Sometimes, well, the control center actually has grown on me, but sometimes certain things just won't work properly. And some of this could actually change. The design could change. Maybe they'll tweak some little elements here and there. And that tends to happen by the time it's actually released to the public. So my advice to you would be basically wait until the public beta is released. That tends to be when it starts to become more stable. And if you want to use it on your daily phone. Now, I'll probably be using a different phone in the meantime, just to kind of have a little bit more stability and make sure it works okay. And I can get through the day with battery just in case. So I carry a 6S with me. I'll probably just use that and use this at the same time just to see what the experience is like. But for me, it's been okay. Now Maps, on the other hand, Maps works really great. It crashed once while I was using it and it doesn't have the lanes for turn by turn direction, but it actually saved me on my way home today. I went to the Apple store and on my way home, it didn't give me the lane guidance that wasn't there, but it helped me avoid some serious traffic and it was really good. And the new Siri voice helps with that a lot. So a lot of good things in this version of iOS, but definitely not worth upgrading till until maybe beta three, really, if you're worried about battery and stability. In fact, if you're worried about stability overall, betas just aren't stables most of the time until you get to the very end. And you may just want to wait until the final release in September. But anyway, I'd love to hear your experience with iOS 11 beta one in the comments below. Uh, let me know how it went for you and how it's been for you and expect the next one probably in a week or so. 
If you want this wallpaper, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Thanks again to Cameron and Connor for sending it along. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time. <laughs>